I mean, think about what we're up against. A major, a major U.S. bank was able to cancel and just canceled our ability to do banking. We didn't even get a call. It was like getting broken up with by text. <laughs> like, you know, no reason. It didn't matter whether, you know, hey, you're letting people, it wasn't, again, we're not even creating news. We're aggregating it. Check out MXM. You'll actually see both sides of story and you can formulate your opinion. And I'm so confident that we're right on our side that I'm willing to actually let you see the leftist viewpoint because you will realize that they are insane. Why aren't they willing to show our side? Because they too realize that they're insane. <laughs> right? So, so what we have to do is we have to be involved in this. It's, it's sort of amazing. I think Michael Seifert's here somewhere from Public Square. Yeah. Another one. Woo. Great guys. You know, San Diego-based company. He was sitting there at home. He was sick of going to a coffee shop that was taking his hard-earned dollars and giving it to leftist radical causes that would throw any one of us in the gulags with or without cost, right? Just, they would do it just because of what we believe. So he created a list of the conservative companies that shared his values, turned it into a website, and now Public Square has gone national. They're actually going public. But we have an obligation, if we want to exist, to support those kind of businesses. You're going to search it anyway, right? You're going to go on Google and find out what's the restaurant. I did it last night. Okay? I had a table of 20. I called at 8 o'clock to say, hey, we need a reservation. We got on Public Square. We found a restaurant that signed up because I know I could go there and not get booed even in D.C. I won't mention the restaurant because they'll probably get canceled if I do, but it was sort of nice for me. We walk in, we're with Carrie Lake, and we're with Matt Gates and Nigel Farage. Like, it was a pretty conservative crew. That would have had a hard time probably eating in D.C. without getting yelled at. Now, I do well with that, but it's fine. But sometimes you want to just avoid it. And so we were able to find that. We have an obligation to get out there and support those kind of businesses. Because again, once we show the other side that there is pain in their wallets, I have to say that because someone will aggregate that and say that I was advocating for violence. No, but they can cancel us at any second. I mean, imagine being a guy at a bank being like, you know what, I'm just going to cancel Don Jr.'s news app. What's, what could happen? And I have a platform of like 10 million people on Twitter, millions on Truth, Millions on Facebook and Instagram, like, I have the ability to fight back. And I did, and I put it out there, I put a tweet, and we had some pretty powerful people jump in on this, like the Speaker of the House. I would not have wanted to be PNC's bank comms guy last night. <laughs> that was probably a long evening. But again, they probably knew at least some of that was capable, and they still don't care. Right? This morning, right as I was getting on stage, we, uh, it was a mistake. Upon further review... Bullshit! Okay? It wasn't a mistake! Okay? Have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed the mistakes only go 